always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. Quiet tonight, and it's going to get humid. Already we've seen the stickiness in the air, the dew points in the 60s. Well, it's about to go even further up. If we look at your dew point future cast, we're about to get very humid as we get into Sunday and Monday. So the heat, the humidity, all that means that we have more chances of showers and storms, especially as we work in the week ahead. So as we clear out tonight and start to see things cool down, just know we have a lot more activity that's on tap for us. We're uh, far from done when it comes to storm action across West Michigan. And some of the showers and storms that are likely to form on Sunday night, especially, could be on the strong team and severe side. So we're already beginning to keep our eye open for the next round. Live look in Allendale, you can see there's a little bit of low level moisture. Very likely that we're going to be seeing some areas of fog early tomorrow morning. And so as you're getting out the door, watch for some of the fog chances. As we go through the morning, it'll start to mix around and eventually dissipate with sunshine taking over for most of your Thursday. It's actually going to be a beautiful day. As we get into the afternoon especially, we should see sunshine. Air temperatures close to the lakeshore near 70. Our water temperatures in the mid to upper 60s. And the waves should be around a foot or less. Now, if we expand our view, you can see our system moving out now, but you can also see another wave of cloudiness and some scattered showers and storms that are really close by. Those are going to be impacting us. So even though we clear out tonight, even though we have the sunshine tomorrow, an upper level area of energy is going to swing in tomorrow afternoon to evening, and that should be enough to pop up a few showers or thunderstorms. Here's how it looks on your future cast. Quiet for tomorrow with the areas of fog, one o'clock, still dry, about four o'clock, five o'clock. That's when you can start to see a few downpours pop. Now, I just want you to take a moment to see how many people are impacted by this. Very, very few. So those that are going to be seeing the rain should be seeing a downpour, but most of us could actually be dealing with sunshine with just a cloud in the distance. So this is not going to be a huge washout for everyone but the shower chance is expected. It's just all about where the downpours are going to land. The rest of Thursday, we start to clear out, and then Friday morning, a sweep of rain tracks through, especially east of Grand Rapids. That also will give way to some sunshine. So we have rounds of showers that we're timing out, the first of which is Thursday afternoon, the second of which is Friday morning. Then we get another break into Saturday before we get ready for more showers and storms Saturday night, and then again on Sunday night into Monday morning. Now, Sunday into Monday, it gets so humid that we have tons of energy in the atmosphere. That means a very good setup for heavy downpours and a very good setup for the chance for strong to severe storms. So we will be watching that as it all comes together. It's hard to believe it can get even more humid, <laughs> but the atmosphere is going to do it. Ooh, yeah. That has been rough. It has. Okay. Ellen, thank you.